Okay, I'm here with Nick Roy. He's been behind the camera all night, directing the crew, a local filmmaker, Loyalist College guy. Tell us a bit about this. What's it feel like to be a Loyalist College guy and be able to show your film in Belleville? Uh, it feels really good. It's a, it's a huge accomplishment for me just because it was a, a very tight film to make, and it was during the summer. I made it with a, a lot of friends from the school, so uh, it's not all on me for, for the success we had with the film. And uh, Happy with the way it turned out, um, and just excited to see it uh, up on the big screen for once. So. Yeah, you know, because you guys, you screen these films in front of your classmates, but it's different when it's up there on the big screen. It, you know, do you feel nervous already, or will you feel, feel nervous at the screening? Or oh, Well, yeah, like, I'm always nervous, even if I'm just showing it to a friend in my room and, like, my computer, because it's a new... Uh, uh, perception on the film and like the way they're going to take it could be different from someone else so I'm always nervous to see how they're going to take it usually I get a good response from it so I, I'm pretty happy and uh, uh, the two guys that are working these two cameras right now are both in, helped out one was acting in it and nice. one was the audio guy for it so we're a, we're a good crew and we're, good, we're it became a family well so. that's so important right and what I love about your program is you have to play every role so do you find in doing that, you kind of incorporate all of that stuff into a well-rounded director? Yeah, well, th yeah, that's the thing with uh, Loyalist that I like, is that it is very well-rounded, and you get to try out every single position, and you need to be able to do that if you're going to be a director, because uh, you need to know how a certain role is being taken and how much time they're going to need, and um, even acting is something that a lot of directors kind of oversee, uh, because they're looking at all the technical stuff, and... Um, so for me, it was very, it was very, kind of a challenge because I was doing uh, like a lot of roles uh, that would usually be separate. Right, and, you were in a lot yeah. of hats, but yeah, you have exactly. to do that on smaller yeah. films. Yeah, well, small budget for, or no budget films, it's all uh, um, very uh, dependent on the people that uh, volunteer their time. So that's why it's such, it's it's so much bigger to me than any other film I've seen, just because uh, it was people that came together for the passion of film, you know, so. And for you guys, I mean, you're not quite graduated yet. You got one more year yeah. to go. Is there pressure to, you know, create a project, get it out there before you graduate? Like, is that the state of filmmaking now and, and taking college? Um, I, you know, I wouldn't say that. Uh, the only reason I did it was just because of the, the love of it, you know, like I, I just, I, I That's the best I wrote, reason. Exactly. I wrote a film and I was like, you know what, I'm not really doing much this summer. I'll, s I'll send a message out, see who wants to work on it, and I got a great response. And like my friends are unbelievable, so I uh, it, like I, I don't think I think it helps for sure, like to be able to do that kind of stuff and put it on a resume and stuff. But I'm I don't think it's a uh, necessity. <laughs> so. It's neat because we talked with Bill Saunders, CEO of the Belleville Chamber of Commerce, about the importance of social media for yeah. marketing films oh, and festivals. Yeah. But you're talking about the importance of social media for getting a crew together. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. It's it, That's actually, like, the only reason I use Facebook anymore is just for more business stuff and getting people together. And uh, I think the one thing that's important about making a film is to get people excited about it. You know, like, uh, if you're passionate about something, if you really want to make something, that'll reflect on the film and reflect on the crew that want to make it. And uh, that's kind of the way it worked out with my film because it was very run and gun. It was very like, okay, we need to get this shot. Like, we need to run over here. We had an ATV with like, the, like we ran the ATV, all the camera equipment into the ATV and nice. shot them down. Everyone it makes else it walked. fun though, but right? Yeah, like it's all great memories. And uh, if like the film didn't turn out 100% perfect, but like. I wouldn't change a thing, you know, just because of the way it turned out. That's a good attitude to have. So are you looking already at new projects? Uh, I, uh, right now it's more of just kind of a break summer for me just because uh, we're going to be working on some projects for school. So I'm working on some of the pre-production for that. So uh, I think next year after I'm done college, uh, I'm going to be probably just working for a, about a year. So I'm thinking about doing kind of like a miniseries or something like cool. that. But Make some money to spend it all on the making of the miniseries. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make money to just send it away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Listen, congratulations. No small feat. Congrats to these guys, too, helping yeah. out behind the scenes. And enjoy the weekend. Great. Thank you yeah. very much. Yeah, man.